recording an injector on a Jaguar X-Type 2 litre diesel using Kim Borland's eDiag automotive diagnostic device. In a previous video I showed you removing the old injector from the cylinder head using a special tool or commonly known as an open sided deep socket 21mm. and then refitting the new injector after a simple process of elimination with the electrical connectors I ascertained that number one cylinder had a broken solenoid and didn't work so I sourced a new injector jotting down the new code which is a 16 digit character code printed on the side of the injector and correctly installed that the car started and ran but it was a little bit rough, so I uh, attempted to record it with an iCar Soft device uh, and I couldn't do that. It probably just needed a firmware update, which I haven't had time to do yet. So now I'm going to do it with the eDiag by Kim Bolan. First, you need to look at the OBD port, which is down by the driver's side footwell, just here. It's tucked away vertically and it's a black colour so I'll just attach the device to that make sure it's the right way around and it'll clip into place and then it'll light up green to show that the device is active and turn the ignition on and open the software on your phone go into all systems diagnostics and either enter your VIN or search for VIN Oh, what I'm doing, I'm just going down the icons to find Jaguar. Press that. Now I'll press automatically search. VIN code and particulars come up. Agree to that. Yes, that's correct. Choose special functions. And then the injector down here. Diesel particulate filter. Not fitted on mine. And here we are with the menu for the injectors. Unfortunately, I think there's a firmware glitch here because they've got two options and they both say the same thing. But having used this software before, I know that they're different. The top one is when you want to code the actual injector, the new one, and the bottom one is actually to bring up a list of the codes that are already stored in the vehicle. So that's the one you want to press first, really. But I didn't. Yours may say something different, but as I said, it's probably a firmware uh, glitch. So to code the actual injector, I'm going to press the top one. A little message comes up with some information, quite useful. Then another dialog box up with some more information, telling you that it's a 16 digit code for the injectors and to make sure that you've got that code before you carry on. So I can agree to that. And then we've got a list of all the injectors and which cylinder they're in. So it's the cylinder numbers that's important here. Mine just happens to be cylinder one an injector one so I can't really go wrong and cylinder one is on the pulley side of the engine so I'll go into cylinder one injector one click OK and here's me space where I can put the injector code so the, I'll write the, my new injector code in here the injector codes are often a mixture of numbers and letters and I use capital letters rather than lowercase Make sure you double check or triple check these are correct before you press OK. Then it's asking me to switch the engine on, which it is. Switch it on, the ignition on, not the engine. And it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh yeah, here we are, dialog box up, please wait. Oh yeah, this is where it gives you a countdown, 20 seconds. And then it does it again for another 20 seconds. before it's finally completed. Completed successfully. OK. Right, I'll just go back and I'll click the lower icon now. Agree to all the dialog boxes.
and here we are is a list of all the injectors and the codes that are currently stored in the ECU and importantly my new one is there at the top hey, hey so it should have done it all so it should be completed now and I can just need to get out of all this turn it off and now I can start the engine that seems all right Take it for a spin and after a short ride everything was back to normal with the engine running nicely so that's the job well done and quite easy to do on the king ball and e diag hope you found this useful if you did please consider subscribing and like share and subscribe and all that stuff thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video